Well, again, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com, and buckle in. You know, when, um, when I first started seeing the teasers and things for Solstice, it was like I didn't quite know what to expect. It was a little out there. It was a little dark. It was a little uh, unexplainable in a way. It was like when it, when it came out, um, I had it for about a week and uh, a week or so, and I'm just ag- absolutely um, still discovering. I was playing the gut circle earlier, and the gut circle is are these beautiful acoustic... Um... Are you ready to go on a trip with me? On an amazing adventure We're going to a land that I've never seen Some people call it solstice It's where winter turns into spring And spring turns into summertime And then again We go to fall and winter They call it solstice Now that was just ad lib Uh, That's just ad libbing And that is what this library I think is about It's about storytelling. It's about uh, traditions. And it's about strange, uh, historic, and um, unknown lands and journeys that we can take with these libraries. It's solstice. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what I like. Uh, that's what kind of captured me looking at uh, this library. Okay, so when we when we look at what this library is, it's they call it cinematic folk noir. But what I like to take from it are these uh, celebration of, and they've used this phrase over and over again in the marketing and the walkthrough, unnotated traditions, and. What that is, speaks to me is that these traditions are passed from one generation to another, and they're not written down with sheet music, with pen on paper. They are passed from son to son, mother to daughter, father to daughter, uh, mother to son. And uh, so you, you just can see a lot of richness in these libraries. And you know, there is not a lack of walkthroughs and videos, but what I wanna do is just sort of put my spin, my spin on it. And, um, and as I looked, um, as I've looked at this, I've looked at my own, um, oh, that's kind of scary. Uh, I, looked, <laughs> I looked at my own um, history I did a 23andMe a few years ago at Christmas. I, my wife and I did that. And what I found out that I have a lot of uh, 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 British and Irish. I've got some Scandinavian, German, and um, I've got uh, a little Nigerian down, uh, you know. So there's a lot of things that go on. And when I looked at that in context of solstice, it, rem- it uh, brought me back to um, my dad. Uh, and my dad is from um, my dad is from Western Kentucky uh, in the mountains in the hills, and then he's brought the Irish traditions, uh, you know, loving the bluegrass. I think the bluegrass music uh, with the acoustic guitars and the dulcimers it actually has to come from those early roots in Ireland and uh, in Britain, and it brings those traditions uh, down to me right now today. So that's what I believe it it means by unnotated traditions. It's those traditions that we are, are, it's infused in the musical DNA of our histories. To have it it here that we can play with some of these is beautiful. So let's get to it. Um, So right now I've got the the gut circle and uh, this is like some really wonderful acoustic uh, techniques. Yeah, I'm thinking German, Dutch. Uh, you know, we're just a mixture of all of our experiences, our families. Yeah, and then the dynamics on this is really good. And you can play it and you can just 
dig out all of those really nice rich things. And then what we'll do, this is just the plucked group and then we can go to the tremolos and the thing that they captured, the thing that they captured was just not trying to get perfected samples. They wanted to maintain a lot of the life in it so everything is kind of, you know, maybe not played in time perfectly and, and just these really cool random tremolos. And one thing Christian had mentioned that no sample, no two samples he wanted to be alike. They wanted to have that alive feel to it. And you just hear the rhythmic things going on, just holding the chords down and just kind of playing. And the air that's, uh... yeah. And we do have a little bit of reverb there. Uh, because one of the other features of this library is it was recorded at Castle Sound. And you hear how nice and dry that it is. Yeah, let's go back to the plucked, uh, and you can just listen to the uh, very nice and dry. And that just brings it closer to you, a little more intimate. It's just lovely. Um, and uh, so it's just like falling down a rabbit hole. Uh, so you've got the tremolo slow, and then you've got the fast tremolos. Yeah, music and instruments are very emotional. So this is some scattered. Yeah, now listen to that. Just. kind of improvised techniques here. And each one is kind of mapped a little differently. Let me pop the keyboard down. Yeah, so you can kind of see the keyboard ranges here. Yeah, so you've got all of these nice scattered chord progressions and things. Really cool and atmospheric. Um, yeah, so that's just, that's the gut circle. And one of the cool things that they have, they have these where you have main techniques and you have motors. And we'll, we're gonna go through, um, you know, we're gonna try to go through as much as we can. And this is just kind of warming us up, but you've got really cool. And I usually have my tempo at 120. Just, you hear, you just hear that life in these guitars. Mandolins and... I can hear the mountains and uh, yeah so this is just the just the regulars and then uh, at 90 beats per minute so they recorded their performances at 90 beats per minute and then at 110 so you don't hear a lot of the time time but you know what I'm not bothered by it. You, you might hear a little time stretching artifacts uh, playing a 90 at 120, but it's not that bad. And then you've got triplet variations of that. Yeah, so they're playing triplets. Uh, same thing here. You've got 90 beats and 110 beats per minute. Uh, then you've got... I'm just loving that. Yeah, and you kind of hear it just kind of kind of bending up a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's just getting these really cool ins inspirational things. Uh, so you've got some strums in A. And you can transpose those into a different keys, but you got. And then the way they recorded these is just beautiful. And again, it's just like you got a nice dry sound. So you've got the strums uh, just like two, three, four, and then you got the 16th notes. Yeah, listen to that. It's really an interesting. You've got different variations of these strums and all captured with all of this. You've got the key of D. Yeah, just some very beautiful textures here. Well, so that's the gut, that's the gut circle. Now they've they've grouped them into different uh, different categories. You've got the um, the Solstice Orchestra, and it has these ten ensembles, and the um, and then again you've just got all of these crazy things. Yeah, brass and woodwinds and harps, Celtic harps, uh, electric guitars. So let's just take a listen to the Mystics and. Um, just discover together. You know, I'm discovering along with you, and that's what makes this a lot of fun. Juice here. Okay, let's go to the legato. Here we go. And I always find sometimes I run out of notes. Uh, one thing that they've done uh, is giving you, uh, so this is just like the easy mix view. You have the, um, the mix, which is uh, Jake Jackson's mix and you have the close mic. So let me just uh, turn on the close mic on this uh, particular. And let's turn the reverb. Okay, yeah, let's turn the reverb down a little bit just so you can hear the natural sound of this. And you hear how, again, how nice and dry that room is because it just brings it right, right close to you like that. I, and I, I, actually, I actually use this, uh, this particular sound uh, in, a, um, in an arrangement that I was just working on this, this past week and it just fit perfect. So that was the legato and the close mic. Let's just go back to the legato and uh, turn on the, um, the other mic cease. So this is the clo close mic, and we got the reverb off just to make sure. And then the outriggers. Yes, this is live. So the outriggers give you a little different perspective, and then you've got the room microphone. Wow. And even with the room mic, you notice that even with the room mic on, it still sounds nice and tight and close, which, uh, which is really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Jake's mix um, and uh, we'll turn off those other mic positions um, because I think Jake does a fantastic job. Okay, let's look at another, a uh, couple of other of these uh, techniques. So this is the Mystics Long. That's really nice. 
And then you've got, uh, okay. So they've, they've put combinations of instruments together, uh, different, uh, different wind instruments together. It is like, I think we just take for granted what we have in these libraries is that, you, you know, just sitting here looking at a screen uh, and looking at this interface, it, and when you, when you look deep down into what we're ha seeing here, I, I think uh, Christian mentioned that this has been uh, over a two-year process, and not just uh, the two-year process uh, in normal situations, but in this uh, crazy situation our whole world has been thrust into. And to bring something this interesting and unique, um, really, uh, we, you know, is very commendable to the Spitfire team and to everybody that put this together. But uh, while we're here, uh, you know, if it's your first time here, I just uh, thank you guys for all the support and just go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit the like. You guys have been so very kind and to support the channel. And, uh, you know, Spitfire uh, has been very supportive in uh, providing a, the library uh, solstice for me to review and to share with all of you guys. I'm just so grateful uh, that I have this opportunity and, and I do not take it for granted. So, um, so here we go with the callers and the callers are um, brass like And again, I'm going to turn that reverb down because I want you to hear exactly what's going on with these sounds. You can just hear them un... Um, oh, wow. And when I turn the reverb off just then, if you're wearing headphones, I, it just feels like it goes right there. Um, it's just like it's right inside your head almost. Wow. Very cool. This is the longs. Now we have to have a little bit of reverb. Just a little bit. Okay, so here we are, here we are again. So every, every library, it just takes you into a different, a different headspace, a different, it portals you, it takes you, it, these libraries are these portals, I say this all the time, but I, I don't get tired of saying it because it's, it's absolutely true. Uh, they open doorways that we go through to, it just transports us right there, right there in these moments. and make sure you, you're using those dynamic controllers. You hear that?
very, very nice, very rich. Uh, okay, so. Hearing that um, the brass with the reeds just kind of just adds another texture. <laughs> so, so you don't know. So we're getting we're getting a little little out there, but uh, very cool. So you, we've got some flutter tongues. Little flutter tongue going on there. And um, we're gonna get into some more crazy stuff here. Overblown. So you can key switch these or just, uh, yeah. That's another aspect of this library is that you have to hold you just don't you just don't play these notes fast i just have to remember there's a lot going on there when you're holding the notes they evolve and grow doing all kinds of crazy stuff like that okay spoken now they're t they're kind of like you know blowing but but kind of talking at the same That's really cool. Okay, so these are scattered tremolos. So it sounds a little chaotic, but there's order to it as well. Yeah. I go the road less traveled a little bit, I guess I did. And then again, I'm just hearing a lot of these for the first time. And so they're taking you somewhere. They're painting their own picture. And then you hold that down. Clarinet, a little clarinet. Yeah. That's the thing. That's that's the other thing that they uh, put in here. Uh, so we've got some some gliss up, so we can uh, let's see. Let me see where these. Uh, so my nano key, you, it's it's out of frame here, but um, let's see here. Uh, so so they've, they've got these kind of mapped standard. If I go down, I've got to click way down. Yeah, there we go. So so now. Now key switches are are just very important. Especially if you're playing a part in live, you can just go in and, and just really kind of find these, um, the minor glisses. Yeah, so I love learning more about the key switches. Yeah, it's untelling what, uh, what the crazy things that we can do with these. Okay, it's brass and winds, and then we have some effects and uh, Thanks guys for hanging in there with me. And um, so this is the effects. Yeah. Rips. 
So you've got rips and falls. And so you can incorporate. So gliss up slow. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Just some just some air, just blowing air through there, and you can okay, wow. Let me find out where the key range is on this. Okay. Just whispering through there. Yeah, just some really interesting effects here. Oh, just random chatter. Very cool. And key clicks, you know. So all of those little things just add up, uh, just to create the experience. Um, now, the callers have the Evos. Now, the Evos are these really uh, wonderful, just long, um, I guess they would call them evolutions. Um, here we go. So you just hold. The longer you hold it, the more it just kind of grows and evolves. Yeah, it just goes. Let's start down low. And let's add one up here. So the longer you hold it, the more crazy it gets. And they've got, uh, okay, so this is called sorrow and then divided. So each one, it just grows and then it, then it, before it goes right back to the loop point. So this is turbulent. It's, it's crazy. Cacophony. So it kind of lets you, lets you settle into the pitch and then it, then, it, then it just kind of goes in its own direction. And really random, fun things. Meandering. And since each Evo is not the same, they're all different. When you're playing a couple together, they, they have a really weird way of interacting together. There's just, it's just so much. You know, Albion is just like, when you go into an Albion, it's just like you are, you are actually stepping foot into a different planet. Okay, now this one's gonna, this one's kind of fun. Uh, this is the generators. Now the generators are um, electric uh, guitars. Yeah. So just different electric guitar techniques. Tremolo, slow. So you have the organic and the in the in these woodwinds and and then you've got these crazy electric things going. Yeah. Fast tremolos and then like bowing, like e bows.
the thing for me is um, that I have to, I, you gotta hold that key down. Nice harmonics there. Kind of staccato and spiccato. I guess it's palm muted there. So some really beautiful textures. And then what's fun with me is the, uh, okay, so that's the callers. We wanna go to the generators and it's a, um, let's go to the motors. Now the motors are fun. When I first pulled this up, uh, when I first pulled this up, man, I guess. You know, when I first hit this, hit that note, um, and let me see something here. I want to change this tempo a little bit. I'm going to go to 130. Okay. Now that's not in the pocket where, where I think it, let's go 125. Now this, just, just hitting that note. If I come home, if I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's coming home to you. Yeah, I mean, the first first time I hit that note, it was like, that was what sparked in my mind. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more to be the man. I gotta sing it down the octave. Thousand miles to fall down at your door. La da da da, la da da da. La da 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 da. Yeah, see, that's just what came to me, and uh, it just triggers things. And then you can just hold that. It just, but it's just got that character about it, just that really nice grit and warmth. Um, yeah, and then again, you've got it at 110. Yeah, and this, the 16ths. And triplets. Yeah. And, uh, and it's like, are we even in the same library? That's what I'm talking about. They give you such variety. And they, and they give them to you at the different... Uh, Yeah, so I I just can hear uh, so much in in there. And let's just take a quick gander at the um, at the Evos. And uh... and again, Simeon, hold the keys down and let it let it do its thing. I'm 
I still haven't found what I'm looking for. My apologies uh, to... <laughs> See, this is, this is not the library that you thought it was, and uh, that's what's surprising me. And you just, it, it, it is, it's just like, it's like opening this, um, this black box, and you open it up, and it just like, it contains a universe. Um, there's like a universe contained inside of it, and you just keep going deeper and deeper. This is the nursery. Now see, these are just like parts of this, um, the Solstice Orchestra, and these are bells and chimes, and, and just listen to this. Listen to how nice, um, nice those bells are. <laughs> yeah. Just beautiful bells and chimes and, now these are the staccato. I think, uh, <laughs> I think that the, um, again, one of the cool things that they did with this library is they did not record it in air or their traditional Spitfire. Um, they didn't record it at air or Spitfire. They recorded it, and recording it at Castle Sound just brings so much to this library that it's not in any other. Oh man, you know guys, I was really pushing it. I was pushing it. Yeah, so you can get you can get lost in that. I can I can get lost down these rabbit holes very quickly. Um, so let's go to the boat. Now these are boat uh, chimes and bells. Almost like an organ. Wow. Just very beautiful harmonics going on. And tremolos. Now, you hear it's kind of a little random because the people are playing these at different times and that's what gives you this, this very organic and very alive sound. Really nice. Okay, and then bowed tremolo. Yeah. Yeah. And the chatter. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Very cool. So we go back to the nursery, and they, what they do, they give you the main techniques and they give you the, the motors, which, uh, which are these different, really cool uh, patterns and things. And the reason, they're, they're performances, they're not sequenced, and that's why you get this life, this liveliness. You get just liveliness, and so they give you these 90 and 110 triplets usually, and uh, 16th. You've got so much going on. Okay, but the elders are this beautiful uh, string. Um, they've got an octet and a sextet, uh, which is six. Um, well, okay. 
So this is the um, the Legatos. One thing with the SL88, if I play real, if I just play soft, that's what triggers that portamento. Consordinos. I love Consordinos. Listen to that icy. I'm, I have got a soft spot for consordinos. Now the circular, circular articulation is really cool. So they go f in and out of flautando. Just so nice. Uh, oh. Just some different trills here. You know, just for those really wild things, I think it's got some really cool staccato consordinos. That's pretty cool. I've not seen that before uh, yet. 
it's just got that glassiness about it that I like. Um, and of course, you've got the marcato. Okay. One of the things that they did with this, again, we're gonna go to the, um, we're gonna turn the reverb off, go to these close mics, because they use these clip-on mics for the violins, uh, for the strings, for all the strings, to give you just this really tight, close sound. And it's just, it's almost like you're right inside this thing, so. They just get the mic as close to the strings as they could get it. You know, the trills are baked in. Yeah, the trills are baked in. It's not MIDI, it's, perform it's a performance, and that's what makes it uh, sound so nice. Now this is the um, this is the sextet, um, so this is a little bit smaller section. Okay, now this is really interesting. So they've got two types of flautandos. So this is a cold flautando. It's always an ex exploration. So this is the warm flotando, so that was the cold. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I'm just going to do something freehand, just put something together. This has been in my heart to do, especially looking at this library. I want us to be able to experience this. So I'm going to start with the gut circle, and I'm going to do this without a click, and uh, let's just see what we can come up with here. Let's put a little bit of the nursery in here, just for some color. Uh, okay, here we go. This is the nursery, and the technique's long, and let's try this again. Kind of coming together. Let me change the generators into the um, 
to that nice, using the elders, that solo bass here. And how nice and rich that is. Okay, let's record this. This is the bass, uh, the solo bass from, from the elders. I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use the pipes, the mystics, uh, for the lead. And let's just play the lead. don't want to stop when you're kind of in some of these moments here. So now let's pull up the elders and I want to see, okay, this is the, uh, the long and this is the sextet. So it's going to be a nice, uh, soft, let's use the warm flautando on this. And it's really interesting how you, how you build these layers up. Okay, what I want to do, let's just, uh, let's see if we can get, pull, do a little mix here. Um, and um, let's see. So I've got the elders. I wasn't hearing them come up as. Okay, let's try it one more time. I turned down the, uh, the lead pipe a little bit. Let's see. Here we go. This is just that uh, sextet, and we can just do that uh, same thing. 
I think that the, the way that they recorded the strings um, is, is because, again, it's in, a, it's in a different space. It's in a different space, different musicians, and they all bring to their, they all bring something fresh and new to them, to, the, to these, to everything, you know. It's just, um, it's just wonderful. And now we, we go down into what I think is Christian's, uh, really his DNA is in this uh, cassette tape orchestra. It's, it's a collection of over 700 different uh, patches, sound sources, and uh, I think, no, well, it's 700 sound sources. And if you have seen his setup, if you've ever watched, and I would really encourage you to watch some of uh, Christian's uh, videos that he has on his channel, because if you had been uh, following uh, his channel for some time, you'll notice that some of this material has it was kind of like in inside, kind of hiding uh, in plain sight, so to speak. But uh, taking these sound sources and running them through these racks that he's had is just incredible. So we've got uh, classic, traditional, and the band. Okay, hang on. Are you ready? Wow. guitarist and you can kind of listen to that just all those uh, tape saturations now you've got this dashboard that uh, gives you a little bit more control over the saturation and then the, then the, the, the delay time just learning just this alone is a, a great challenge fisherman's song there you go and so they're using some of the content from like the other parts of the library, but processing them through these massive. And that mod wheel. It just works on those filters there. So you've got those two different sections, the A and the B, and you can drop these down. Um, so right here, you've got the Elder Consordino source, but it's warping and running through. You can get a pre, you just get a preview by hitting it right there. So when you take these sources and run them through all of that processing and you've got so these are both using um, sound sources from the elders takes it takes those organic samples and strings and turns them into some completely different things um, so this is bell and pad and so this is using some of those nursery 
Uh, well, no. Okay, so this is like a Juno, some Juno um, synths. So they've got all kinds of synthesizers too, like Junos, and um, you'll have to look at uh, watch uh, some of those run-throughs on the on the cassette orchestra. They, there's so much detail that goes into these. So you've got those really interesting analog bells and pad stacks. you have this oscillation mixer let's see yeah so it'll blend between the two it's kind of like a Cylon breakthrough and I'm just kind of picking things out as it kind of grabs my attention yeah so this is uh, so this is using something from the collars Okay. Just a lot of very fat uh, stacks of synths and modules. And um, he's also got some sources from his uh, Schimmel uh, upright too in here. And I'm gonna see if I can find some of those because I like uh, the pianos. So you've got the gate sequencer involved with a lot of this. And then you can invert. Yeah, so like, let's see what we can just kind of mess around with. Uh, do every other one. Yeah, and you can hear how that... Let's see. And it's evolving still. Just hear how fat that is. Piano with long pad. And let's just take a listen. Okay, so yeah, so in uh, Sound Source B, we have the uh, upright. kind of sneaks up behind it.
see what I've got here. Let me see what I can do. Because I can hear something wants to happen here. So just layering that with the nursery. Let's just take a look at some more of these uh, cassette orchestra presets. Shadows. And there's all sorts of things. There's, uh, vo there's, a, there's some vocals that are in there. Um, yeah, I have a problem. You know, you know Rolf, you, you know, less is more. Absolutely. Um, sometimes I have to kind of hand uh, I can have to put a hand behind my back sometimes uh, because I want to just, I want to dig in with both hands. Okay, I still have the nursery kind of kicking in here. Just make sure that's turned off. So we've got some upright. Yeah, this is kind of like, uh, so this is a simple EP, electric piano and pad. Okay, nice roads there. up and kind of surprises you with something um, with something new okay so let's just see what we've got um, yeah VHS piano so you know some of the guitar pedals and processing uh, really you know it's it's just it's just so much and you know over two years of working on this thing uh, to you know construct So they've got these Lyra synths. And again, how it just kind of grows over time. The upright it says VHS next to it and that's kind of like the pedal now listen to that it just kind of sneaks up on you um, the like a VHS tape like recorded to VHS, uh, VHS. where were the 80s were the 80s 
Really that scary? Okay, so <laughs> some of the names they come up with are really interesting. So th that's what that's what the name of this is. Were the 80s really that scary? Well, Matthew, welcome. Welcome to the channel. That's kind of cool. This is Vertigo. <laughs> okay. Now you hear that, I hear that swimming around there. Yeah, but just holding down that. And then you all of a sudden hear it come alive. I think, you know, um, you know, Rolf, that is exactly the, the point of Albion. Uh, the Albion concept is to give you uh, a library. Okay, so it's like a library container. So the library, each Albion contains like, uh, there's a different um, approach, a different uh, type of uh, style, and each Albion contains a different DNA, a different personality. And each of them have, you know, all the components that you need to, um, you know, just with one library, you have rhythm sections, string sections, some brass. That is exactly right. Let's see, this is called uh, War Hits. So this is actually using the um, the solo bass. The Bartok pizzicato and the colleg notes. And they've just they've just really Okay, now the modulation wheel. So that modulation wheel is assigned to this mixer. You can automate that or you can uh, you can do that. Oh, Jan Hammer. Uh, was was Jan Hammer that dark? And, and it's kind of like all these cool Easter eggs that they... Okay, let's see here. Man, yeah, that gets a, just so crazy. Tim at Troubadour. Thanks, guys, for sticking around. And uh, okay, so this this is like the block from the blackguards, like the accordions of the harmoniums. taking all of these sources and just, just really taking them to different places. So this is Ultra Simple Pad.
just really rich, really rich when you process them through some really cool analog filters and things. Okay, man. And then I can, you know, I probably should have saved some of these as favorite snapshots, but uh, we're having fun. Shimmers. Okay. The different modulation things going on. Just the different things going on. Shadow choir, and um, yeah, I could we could spend we could spend several hours just going through these. Okay, so like the hosts are like the vocals, and they're using some of those sound sources. cool, mysterious things going on there. So while we're here, um, let's just take a look at the drone grid. But the drone grid, man, it is just like another rabbit hole you can fall down because it's almost like, you know, you sank my battleship because you have so many different sources and then the note centers that you can just combine these, mix and match these. And I'm just gonna just play the, the initial one uh, that comes up here. And again, you just gotta let it, okay, hold on. You just gotta let it ride. And I think that's what a lot of these, um, just are meant to hold down, just for those long sustaining things. And then what, what is really neat is that you've got the dice and let's roll the dice and we can randomize. Oh wow, cool. So you can randomize with everything. You can randomize with just the elders or let's just randomize with the hurdy-gurdy. Now let's randomize with all. Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> So these are meant to just hold down and let them just kind of drones and, and pads types of things underneath. And there's so many combinations uh, to these. Yeah, see, look at that. So you've got all of the different sections. So randomize all, and then you can kind of see how more of these are coming, are populated here. <laughs> Now you can kind of hear some things going on. Yeah, you know, the thing is, if you are in actively composing and, it, because it is an investment, and then they just keep evolving. Um, so just the callers and the mystics. So what happens is the different Evo grids represent the different uh, parts of the orchestra here. So you'll notice that we just, uh, did the uh, just the mystics, uh, the callers and mystics right here. So that's all that it populated. 
And if you find something that you like, make sure you save it as a snapshot. Let's go down here. Just some very, very interesting things. So I would encourage you to go back and make sure that you watch the um, those walkthroughs. I think our journey is nearing its end. Uh, man, we're going back to the gut circle. Okay, that's interesting. Because I still have the cassette orchestra kind of engaged too. That's the thing. You can get something and just layer it on top of each other. Okay, let's just do this. Again, this is Simeon Ambergi from praisetracks.com. And um, it's, it's been, yeah, I, I didn't know what to expect. Um, uh, it's a happy little scary thing. Oh, yeah, it, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see what, let's see what we can do. Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting. I just couldn't do um, couldn't do what I'm doing without your support, and uh, I so appreciate it. Thanks again to Spitfire for um, just allowing me to experience this library with you guys. Thy presence, my light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, and thy Thy true Son, Thou in me dwelling, and I with Thee one. Riches I need not, nor feign empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always Thou and Thou only First in my heart High King of Heaven My treasure Thou art Yes We need vision. We need his vision to help us see through the craziness and the darkness sometimes. Okay, there's a, 
there's one more verse I see. High King of Heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joy, O bright heaven's sun, heart of my own heart, whatever befall. Still be my vision, O ruler of all. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. That's wonderful. Yeah, I've got that little cassette orchestra in there kind of going, but isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so, so we've come to the end of our journey and adventures, oh boy, we've had some. It's the new library from Spitfire Solstice. It's just another Albion. <laughs> it's really cool. It's very cool. It's very cool to share. And you know, that's what my dad, uh, that's what my dad would do. Uh, and I guess that's where I get it from. Wow, thanks, Daniela. Thank you so much for that. You know, I get this from my dad. Um, my dad was, uh, you know, I guess extemporaneous. And so he would call my mother and just sing these random songs on the answering machine and uh, just so beautiful. And I just, I just love, you, you just freestyle, you just go with it. So beautiful. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, man. You know, we, we, we didn't know if we were gonna make this journey today, but I'm telling you what, I'm glad we did. I'm glad we persevered. Sometimes you've got to just persevere to push through a little bit. And I'm so glad because there's great reward when you do. And um, you guys were a part of that. And thank you so much, Daniela. Thank you so much for your uh, generosity, your kindness. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Now this is the tale of our castaways. <laughs> We're here for a long, long time. We'll have to make the best of things. It's an uphill climb. So join me next time I stream. I'll do my very best to present the libraries tastefully. You know I'll always do my best. Okay, I'm pushing it, I know. But thanks so much for watching and for joining me. And uh, thank you guys so much. And I will see you next time. Lots of things happening. And uh, make sure you check out all the descriptions and, and uh, the links below. Uh, check all the links in the description below and check out the walkthrough videos. There's tons of them. Spitfire and uh, has done so much. Home and, um, and Christian and Paul, they've all brought some more beauty out of this and uh, gotten a little more under the hood. We just love, I just love taking these journeys with you guys. So until next time, I'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining me. See you again.